Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Calamity Endgame Showcase. Whoa, we got the Traveling Merchant on the top of our base with us. Anyways, we are showcasing the Gale Greatsword today. You see, so cool. It shoots out these kind of pixelated skull things. So this is a weapon you can obtain after the Jungle Dragon Yaren. So it's pretty powerful. And let's go ahead and show what it does. I'm going to put down some super target dummies. These are better than target dummies because they will actually allow projectiles to home in and hit them as if they were enemies. So you can see the big skulls do not home, but the small ones do. It says it is 13,709 melee damage. With my Auric Tesla and the accessories I have equipped at the moment, it's got very fast speed, insane knockback, fire... The first swing fires homing skulls, so let's see, yep, well that's kind of cool. <laughs> that was like the perfect distance to just make it orbit. Well I guess let's see if it um, if it will go away. I guess eventually it, it decides where it's going to go. The second swing fires a giant powerful skull, that's one that just goes straight in a line. Third swing deals massive damage, so that's your true melee swing, and then constantly generates rage while in use. That is awesome. The swings leave behind exploding blood trails when you're below 50% health and right click to swipe the sword reflecting projectiles at 50% chance. Interesting. This is a 50% chance of reflecting projectiles. That is a really cool effect. And then you can activate rage mode to release an enormous barrage of skulls. Well, one thing also to note is Usually the legendary affix is the same, but you can see here it does a negative 188% speed. Uh, this weapon, I don't believe, has the ability to change its speed. I think that's just a balancing thing. So single target, we're hitting for about 400,000 damage with our current gear. You can see we're actually having a lot of these just getting hung up, spinning around the target dummy. So I think on a group of enemies, it's gonna be a lot more effective. So let's put these guys down. Already we're up to 2 million DPS for a second there. We're at, yep, we hit 2 million. So that's really powerful. I mean, we're getting obviously some multipliers here by hitting multiple enemies, enemies at the same time, but I really think it's quite impressive. And this is a sword I don't know if many people use or know about. It's kind of an obscure sword in my opinion. I think the reason it's a bit obscure is that you actually can get this from farming enemies in the Brimstone Craig, killing that enemy right there. This Skrylar mobs in the Brimstone biome right here. So let's throw on a Zerg potion real quick and farm up a couple of these enemies. This is not going to be a place that a lot of people go after killing the jungle dragon because you pretty much are ready to fight Supreme Calamitous, so there's not much of a reason to head down here. But this is where you will find this sword. Um, it's kind of nice that you don't have to craft it because a lot of these recipes towards the end game can be pretty intensive. But this one you can just find naturally from these mobs. So all you need to do is throw on a zerg and just hang out here for a while killing these enemies. The big skull that doesn't home actually doesn't go through walls either, but the small skulls do. Well, while we're down here, we might as well turn off Zerg and fight Providence. Let's see how this sword does against Providence. This isn't the best location, but you can see it's doing really good damage once when these skulls catch up to him. So pretty powerful sword. Let's go head up to the surface. And let's summon the cosmic worm and see how it does. Pretty fast clear right there. pretty powerful. We've got our rage activated right now, so let's go ahead and use the rage effect of this sword just to show you how that works. Whoa! <laughs> right there it shot out tons of skulls all over the place. 
pretty powerful. I don't know if I would prefer that to just having a normal rage damage boost. It might not actually be that much of a increase because these skulls do so much damage. Using just a normal rage is cool, but I, I like that they've added a new mechanic. And then the fact that it just, I'm doing nothing and the rage is regenerating so quickly, it's pretty cool. So you're gonna be able to launch that attack quite often if you're using this sword. So there we go. And the DPS right there, 500,000. I'm not sure, like I said, how useful that is, but I do like the added kind of complexity to the sword. The last thing I want to do is test out how it reflects lasers or projectiles. Okay, so it's hard to tell, but you can see I reflected a couple projectiles right there. Let's see if we can get it again. Yeah, you can see some of them are shooting right back. It's not necessarily that good of an effect, but it is kind of cool that they thought to add... Whoa, so I'm below my 50% health, and you can see there was some new effects. Let's see if I can get down below there again. Okay, so now we're below 50%, and you can see there's some new effects happening, like a shooting down lightning, and there was some blood pools that appeared doing tons of damage. This ability to right-click and reflect projectiles is interesting. I wouldn't say it's really that useful because it's only going to project 50%, which means you have to stand in the way of those projectiles and half of them are going to hit you. You might as well just dodge and use the ranged attack in my opinion. But I think this sword is really cool. I like the appearance of it. It's kind of got a rustic feel to it. I think it's pretty nice and easy to obtain. Just use a Zerg potion and farm it up. So I hope you've enjoyed this Calamity Weapon Showcase. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do Terraria Let's Play videos. I'm currently working on a bow revengeance only Calamity Let's Play. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.